The Great Search brought to you by DigiKey and Native Fruit every single week. Lady Ada uses our power of engineering to help you. Yes, you find the things on DigiKey.com. Lady Ada, what is the Great Search of the week? This week! Okay, so this week, um, announcement release of the RP2350. Um, really excited. We love new chips. And Pico 2s are available at DigiKey, but not the chips yet. The chips are still making it into distribution. So we'll probably do a great search soon about um, the RP2350 chip itself. But if you're getting excited and you want to get started designing your board, it's going to take you a week or two by the time chips are available. You can do it. One thing to watch out for um, is that the power supply, the switch mode power supply for the 1.1 volt core voltage is really specific. You need to like make sure that you follow the exact layout in the data sheet. Um, and of course, you know, chips get released. Data sheets are still under development. Um, so we'll check that out in a moment. So let's let's pop over the data sheet. So this is the uh, let me see. This is the Raspberry Pi RP2350 data sheet as published now. I mean, it, it's probably you know if I refresh, it might be a new document. And this is you know layout information about um, the power supply. So the VN for the voltage regulator is 3.3 volts, and then there's this inductor drive. The switch mode itself is internal, which is great, um, but you do need a capacitor for the input buffer, output buffer, and the inductor. Um, and one thing to watch out for is you, you actually even need, you really want one that has the coil moving in a certain direction so that you have like the field that's coming from the inductor um, going in a certain direction, which is like right hand goal, right? So, you know, they are working on inductor. Uh, right now it's TBD. So they're working with Abercon to make a specific inductor, but there are some inductors, like, look, I'm not the Raspberry Pi Foundation, so I'm you know, speaking a little bit out of pocket, but there are inductors that match these specifications that they said that you can definitely get started with your layout or your prototyping with while you're waiting for this um, special inductor to get released. And I'm not, you know, I've only made like five prototypes or whatever of, of my designs, but they did all work. Uh, <laughs> so uh, I don't know, I'm using these inductors that I've chosen. So let's look at the specifications. So um, the inductor must be fully shielded, 3.3 microhenries, no worse than 20% um, uh, variability, maximum DC resistance of 250 milliamps, which is like not that much. So we're actually, we fine. Saturation current of 1.5 amps, not too worried about it. And you want it marked for polarity. And they again the TBD not 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 sure yet. So let's go to DigiKey and let's search for the first part, which is the three point three micro Henry. So let's look for you know what they don't like special characters maybe. There you go. Okay, micro Henry, you Henry. So we're gonna go to the fixed inductors. A lot of options. So let's you know four thousand options and start cutting it down, and we'll get to the good ones. Is it going to be active? We definitely want 3.3 micro Henry. We want, uh, let's just click for active in stock. And let's exclude marketplace just so we, not, th not that many marketplace, but that way we only get the one stock in chicken. Okay. Um, we did here, the tolerance has to be 20% or better. So let's, let's get only those tolerances. Some don't have the specifications in the DigiKey data sheet, so let's just get the dash. Um, we definitely want only fully shielded. I'm gonna assume that the dash includes some that are shielded, who knows? So I'm gonna basically unselect unshielded and semi-shielded. So that maybe cuts it down about, about half. And let's just take a look real fast. Okay, looking good, looking good. Yeah, these are nice inductors. Okay. Next up, we only want surface mount. Cool. Let's click that. We also want, we have a current limitation. Uh, let's look at the current requirements. Least 1.5 amps saturation. So ISAT, um, let's look at 1.5 and above. Now, obviously we have some limit of the size for the inductor. We'll do that later. So I'm not going to select everything because I don't need a 100 amp saturation inductor. It's not going to fit. It's going to be like enormous, right? So because you, the more, the higher the current, the higher the inductance, the low, you know, you, you pay, you know, the, the size is the thing that grows. 
Um, looking good so far. Okay, next up, we can do sizing because the size does matter. It does have to fit. You know, you want it to be fit within that size. It can be a little bit bigger, but you can't have this ginormous beast. Uh, oh, sorry, the DC resistance. We'll do the DC resistance and then we'll do that. So the DC resistance, no more than 250. Thankfully, a lot of options. We'll select up to 246 milliamps. Basically, almost all of them are going to be that 200 options. We're doing good 200 options. And they're, they're looking nice. It's nice to be seen. Okay. Uh, okay, next up size right that's the next part so the sizing they do mention the size let's find it so they say two by 1.6 millimeters yeah so the inductor's case is 0806 two but you know 2016. i'm not like that big it can be a little bit bigger that is the smallest inductor they have I'll select up to like maybe the whatever, 2.9 by 2.9, you know. So we have a couple options. Um, I'll say that this, this device supplier, you know, some of them are dashes, but all the inductors are measured, so this is easier. All right, this gets us down to a nice 33 options, which is which is excellent. Um, so let's see what we got, and let's let's sort by price. So some nice options. This one's pretty. I kind of like this impact version. One thing though is, um, well, let's let's sort by quantity available because it's another nice trick. I always like to sort by quantity. So this is the inductor I used on my prototypes. So let's go to the overhead. I'll show you the prototype. So the prototype. So okay. So here's the deal. <laughs> So they're like, oh, use you inductor with a marking. But, you know, at the time when I got the Pico 2, it didn't, you know, they didn't have this requirement because it's back in 20, 20, 2023. So if you look at the inductor here, the center, it's a unmarked. And this does look a lot like the DFE 2501. So it's unmarked and it is it is shielded. Um drum core wire round and it's you know this is a nice uh inductor so go to the uh computer again so this is a little bit larger this is a 25 20 but it's got plenty uh high very high saturation current to 2.3 amps well within reason wire wound um shielded so i use this one and it seems okay However, we do want to find one that's marked. And, you know, you looked, I actually couldn't find one until I got down to, uh oh, maybe I switched so differently this time. Uh oh, hold on. Which one was it? Oh, you know what? Maybe I was um, pickier about the size. Let me undo my dimension. Could have also marked this. It was the, can you check um, when I sent you the link, what was the- uh... Can you send me the yeah. I didn't. Yeah. Okay, can you go to the overhead for a second? I'm gonna cheat. Yeah, I'm cheat. My... I'm gonna look at my notes. So the inductor, which is used here, some kind of marking on it was oh you're right I didn't hold on it's in my drafts okay I right, said so can you go to back to the um computer okay so this one why didn't I see it oh you know what I think the size was a little bit it was a little bit bigger maybe okay this was the one that I ended up finding that did have a marking because I had to like scroll until like, cause it's not a selectable option. So let me find again. So I was looking for surface mount shielded 3.3, 20%. Is 
connected. Hold on. I'm going to find out why I didn't find this before. And in stock. And saturation current was 1.5 and above. Sorry, I'm, I'm backtracking to the scene of the crime. Why is this possible? Oh, I'm super mystified. Shielded surface mount. Excludes okay, exclude these. And did I miss pick the dimensions? Sorry. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what I what I selected wrong, but it's here now. Oh, maybe it was the supplier device I selected by accident. Okay, so ended up here, um, sorting by quantity. So the only thing is, like I said, there's not a lot that have a marking on them. This one actually doesn't have the no, it doesn't have saturation. So this one is fine. But the one they had the most in stock of was actually this PA. 4335, which is 3.3 .3 microampere, uh, sorry, 3.3 microhenry, 1.7 amp saturation, less than 250 milliohm max surface mount. It's a little bit bigger. Um, like I said, I had the marking and the price was pretty good because it's like 15 cents in quantity. So this is my pick. Um, this is the one I used on the, um, uh bet on the feather only thing to watch for is if you do you you know you pick an inductor and it has the marking not only does it have the marking but you have to make sure it matches the coil winding direction so make sure that like the um the direction is counterclockwise when the dot in the top right corner but hopefully again this abracon special um inductor will come out soon all right Thanks, everybody. Thanks for being patient with me. That's my pick. Wait.